Today we're going to show you how to properly dump your black tank and thoroughly clean it. Now regardless of whether or not you're fully hooked up, the number one rule about the black tank is that it must be closed all the time. You can never leave the black tank valve open even when you're fully hooked up. If you do, you're going to discover in a very unhappy fashion what pyramiding means. That basically means that the liquids are going to run out of the tank and the solids are going to build up. Dumping the black tank is something that's best done when you're fully hooked up and have water and sewer connection. The dump station is great for dumping the gray tank, but we try to avoid dumping the black tank unless we're fully hooked up. Dumping your black tank at a dump station has two problems. First, you can't always rely on there being a hose connection there that will connect to your black tank rinse. And second, it takes long enough to do it properly that you're going to have people lined up behind you sometimes, particularly in popular areas like a national park. Better to do it in a campsite that you've paid for for the night and you've got a sewer connection so you can do the entire thing properly without anybody lined up behind you. Having a black tank rinse feature is really important for maintaining your black tank in clean condition. If you don't have one, there are other options available like wands and other hose attachments that are sold at places like Camping World that you can put down the toilet to flush out the tank. But nothing works better or more thoroughly than having your own black tank rinse attachment on the RV. Don't dump the black tank every time you stop at a dump station or every time you pull into a campground. Two people shouldn't fill the tank any faster than about one to two weeks. Anyway, what we want to do is keep that black valve closed and leave it that way until we get about three quarters of a tank. And what we do when we see three quarters of a tank is we go and close the gray valve. While we're hooked up, the gray valve can absolutely stay wide open and you can let the water from your sinks and shower run right out through the sewer line and use as much water as you feel you need to, as much as you want to, and not have to worry about filling up your gray tank. But now that it's time to dump the black tank, we want water in the gray tank because we're gonna want that big flush of gray water to rinse out the sewer line after we dump the black tank. Now that we have three quarters of a tank in our black tank, let's close the gray valve and leave it closed overnight so we can wash, shower, cook, do dishes, and put some water in the gray tank. And then tomorrow, we're gonna dump the black tank. Good morning. Well, we used our water liberally last night and well, you know we've got a half a tank of gray and normally we wouldn't put half a tank of water into the gray tank in one night but we purposely did not use very frugal boondocking water practices because we wanted some water in the gray tank you want at least about a half a tank or three quarters of a tank of gray water because you really want to flush out that sewer line after you dump the black tank okay right before i dump the black tank the first thing i always do is clean the toilet. Rule number one for cleaning the toilet, and as a matter of fact, rule number one for flushing the toilet. Turn off the fan. Turn that fantastic fan off before you clean the toilet and before you flush it. If you don't turn off the fan before you flush the toilet and open that gate valve, you may just find out the hard way that the only other air inlet into the black tank is up on the roof. That plumbing vent up on the roof allows air into the tank. And if you have that fan on, when you open that gate valve, where do you suppose the air is going to come from to go out the fan? That's right, it's gonna come up and out the toilet. Never flush your toilet with the fan on. Now as part of cleaning the toilet, you should also clean down below the gate valve here. Now that may mean stepping on your pedal and holding it down, or in our case with an electric toilet, we just push the two buttons on the side and that holds the gate valve open. Okay, once that's open, you want to thoroughly clean around the seal for the gate valve here. You want to make sure if there's anything that's gotten stuck in there, 
you want to clean it out. I clean the whole pipe here, and then I flush it out several times. One note about the seal in the bottom of the toilet. There's a fair amount of discussion on various RV forums about problems that people have with that seal. It's very important that that seal holds water. That small amount of water in the bottom of the toilet is the primary barrier to odors coming up out of the black tank. A lot of people talk about not using harsh toilet chemicals and being careful not to damage that ring. This is our second RV over eight years and we have never had to replace a toilet seal but use your judgment as to what type of toilet chemical you decide to use. We've used fairly standard uh, toilet bowl cleaner for a long time. We haven't had a problem but just be aware that there is a lot of discussion about it. Okay we're all set to dump our tanks. Now you didn't necessarily have to wait overnight to dump. The only reason we did that was because we haven't been dry camping and we didn't have any water in the gray tank. If we had just pulled into a campground and had water in our gray tank, water in our black tank, we can just go ahead and dump because we've already got the water we need to flush out the sewer line after we dumped the black tank. That was the only reason we waited overnight. Now what we'll need to dump is a good pair of gloves. A lot of people use uh, disposable gloves. I prefer to use these heavy-duty reusable gloves which I wash. The other thing we need is a length of garden hose and we keep this yellow hose here specifically for flushing out the black tank and we also have a backflow preventer to prevent any water from going back into the fresh water system from the black tank flush. We have our anti-back flush valve on the end of our hose and now we're going to attach that to our sewage rinse point on the RV. Now we can attach the end of that hose to our water source and here's a good reason to keep a Y valve on your city water connection at a campsite. We always use a good quality brass Y valve so that we have water available for things like flushing the tank, washing the RV if it's allowed, and anything else we need water for. Okay, we have our tank flush water line connected to fresh water and plugged into our anti-back flush valve right into our sewage tank rinse connection on the RV. And we are just about ready to start dumping the black tank. One thing I need to mention first though is this piece right here, the clear sewer elbow. When we've had discussions with other RVers about having a clear section of the sewer line, we've heard people say things like, oh, why would you want to see that? Well, that's the single most important piece of dumping your black tank and taking good care of it is knowing when it's actually clean. And if you can't handle what you're about to see here, maybe you better not get an RV because this is a very important part of maintaining your black tank. You really can't take proper care of your black tank without it. You'll notice that I've got a nice heavy rock sitting on top of my sewer connection here and the reason for that is that this sewer line at this RV park is not a screw-in type. This just sits in there. So just to be sure I just put that rock on top of there. I've never had one of these uh, fly out while I've been dumping but Maybe that's because I'm careful. So we're ready to dump and we want to start by turning on the water to the black tank flush slowly about halfway and now we're going to come over here and we're going to pull the black valve. Yep and there it is. Like I said if you can't handle seeing brown liquid inside your sewer line, deal with it, get over it. What we're gonna do is go back over here and slowly turn this all the way up. And we're now gonna sit here and let the black tank flush do its job, flushing out the tank. This has been running for about five minutes now and the water is running mostly clear and most people would probably figure, okay, it's flushed out, I'm done. 
we're going to show you that you're not nearly done and this is where the clear the clear sewer elbow comes in to show us that um, we're going to close the black valve and we're going to stand by for about a minute okay about one minute has gone by and we're going to pull the black valve again and take a look at that now most people would have been done flushing their black tank already and that still would have been in the tank this is why we have the clear sewer elbow we want to know what's happening inside the tank and this is our only window into the black tank close that black valve again and we're gonna leave that closed until the tank fills up now how are we gonna know when the tank fills up we're gonna come in here and look okay a few minutes has gone by and now we're up to a quarter now just keep checking this and keep an eye on it Ah, oh, we can see it's coming up to a half right now you definitely don't want to walk away from this while you're doing this the last thing you want to do is overflow the black tank because it's gonna come out the vent pipe on the roof and I know that when this tank shows full I've got exactly seven gallons left before the tank is truly completely full how do I know that well that's a subject for another video as soon as it starts flashing head outside pull that black valve and yeah, that's running pretty clear but you can still see things going by there's still some debris in the tank but not too bad now if you still see a lot of debris in there fill your black tank one more time and pull the valve again simply repeat the process turn off your black tank flush let the rest of that water drain out of there so you know the black tank is completely empty and then close the black valve and now we're going to pull the gray valve now it's time for the acid test about how clean our black tank is I'm going to show you how confident we are how well we maintain our black tank we're going to open the gate valve on the toilet and we're going to turn the fan on now with all the windows in the RV closed it will take about one second before you know whether or not your black tank is clean I can feel the air blowing up out of the toilet from up on the roof through the black tank I can smell absolutely nothing so we're gonna put in two ounces of Ridex right down the toilet we're gonna to follow that with a gallon of fresh water but let's suppose that your black tank didn't pass the sniff test and you're still getting odor out of your tank the first technique we're going to use is to try to scrape any buildup on the bottom of the tank here's the trick for how to do it ice get yourself about uh, you know, maybe five ten pound bags you want a lot of ice in there and what you need to do now is go for a drive as the ice melts and begins to shift around the bottom of the tank it's going to scrape off whatever's on the bottom of the tank lots of ice lots of driving time twisty roads are great if you see a lot of debris through the clear sewer elbow when you dump you'll know that you successfully scraped off some debris from the bottom of your black tank another popular technique for cleaning the black tank is to dissolve two cups of water softener into one gallon of hot water add one cup of laundry detergent and put the mixture down the toilet into the black tank now fill your black tank with water and let it sit for 24 hours drain the black tank and you should be ready to try the sniff test once again